Welcome back to today's video, which is going to be why Lego Castle, I believe, is coming back to Lego. It's back, baby. Well, not confirmed, not, no, none of this is even rumors. This is just my personal feeling on why I think it's going to come back and why I want it to come back, too. Yeah. So. You really want it to come back. I really do. Yeah. And along with a lot of other people. It's not just me that wants it no, back. I want there's it back. A, there's a lot of people that want it back. Um. So anyway, let's get into some of our reasons why we think Lego Castle is coming back. So uh, the number one reason would be is that they just released the Blacksmith Shop, which is one of the most coveted Lego sets of all time in my opinion, and a lot of people like sold out uh, a lot of places, they sold boatloads of them, and uh, you know, everybody seems to like this set for what I can tell so far. I like this set personally, mm -hmm. and I think a lot of other people like it as well. It's a well put set together, and it also has includes some nice minifigures. The, the roofing and just everything about it is just awesome. Mm -hmm. Also, it I did screams. a review on it, so if you want to see the review on the blacksmith shop, it's just it's just awesome. It just screams. Yes. You gotta buy me. You yes. gotta buy me. You we have did. to. We're gonna be showing up some B-roll of uh, castle sets, sets that we have and stuff that we don't have. Anyway, but to keep it interesting. But the next reason, in my opinion, is the Black Falcon Knights themselves that you got in this set. They made an updated design with prints, new prints, and uh, you know they just put some time and effort into that. So I would think and I would hope that they would do like a Black Falcon Knights castle or a Black Falcon Knights, um, you know, little village. I mean, you know, there's there's possibilities here with the Black Knights is the way I see it. So, those are my two big reasons and why I think they are coming back. The other reason is we, we kind of want them to come back. <laughs> we want them to come back really bad. And the other thing is a lot of other people do want it to come back too. I mean, it's not just a, few, a select few people. A lot of people are asking for Lego Castle to come back. Well, I mean, the whole castle theme is pretty universal. Yeah. And the brick fairs that we've been to there's always um, and, a lot until of until they got shut stuff. down but really you're right there's always medieval builds and usually the highlight of all the builds is some elaborate castle and knights yeah. and battles i mean yeah. nothing else really comes close in my opinion mm -mm. yeah so we want it and also life is kind of cyclical i look at life kind of like neckties if you have like I don't, I'm not even sure what's what's in style right now, but there for a while it was you wore these real skinny ties, and then they went out of style, and then you started wearing these really big ones. And everyone said, "Hang on to your skinny ties. Don't throw them out. They'll be popular once again." And sure enough, about 20 years later, skinny ties were back in vogue. And I think it might be the same way with Castle. Castle had its heyday, what, it's been 15, 20 years? 80 since? years ago, um, not 80 years ago, in 1980, 1990s is when it... Yeah, so it's cyclical. They're going to be popular again. And who wouldn't want like a medieval village? Oh my God. I plan to do a mock one day or a mock series where I just create this huge medieval village at some point. But I don't know how I can keep doing something as good as this. But uh, we have like Medieval Market Village, which is one of my all-time favorite sets along with this set. I'll show a picture, some B-roll of that on screen. And also, one of my first, well not my first, but one of the oldest LEGO Castle sets, The Garden Inn, which I have as well. I'll show a picture of them on that. And those are some of my favorite sets of all time for LEGO Castle. Also, like the Kingdom's uh, Chase thing, or not Chase, the Kingdom's Joust, that one, awesome set. Uh, the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings stuff we really like. Like anything to do with medieval castle, we love it. <laughs> um, so we we just really hope this will come back, and I, I think there's a good chance it will. Yeah, I mean a lot of I've I've heard some reviews and whatnot that talk about the nostalgic yes. factor. Yeah, I I think that's part of it, but I also think part of it is People that just generally like medieval stuff. They like it, and castle was huge once. It could be huge again. I mean, what has changed that would make people not want to love and buy and covet Lego Castle sets? One thing, Minecraft and Star Wars. Yeah, but Minecraft is kind of, I don't know. When you do your Minecraft stuff, it has kind of a medieval feel when to I it. I my stuff. Get, yeah, all right. So, Castle's coming back. So, what what is your prediction in the future? What do you see happening next? Assuming a Lego will, of course... This has got to sell well. 
Yes, and I hope it's gonna be in this grand of a style. I don't hope they go back to little places. Little, I hope they little. do it grand. Here's a castle poly bag. No, we don't yeah, want a poly yeah. bag. <laughs> we, want we want something a big like this. Honkin set. Yeah. Um, like someone like that, of that magnificent. So I'm hoping for maybe another, um, you know, like maybe a, uh, you know, like a another business, not just a blacksmith shop, but like you know something like a like a loom, like a. a wool worker like you know somebody that works in the wool mm -hmm. industry or something like that or like a tax collector's office i mean there's there's stuff we can a do tavern tavern yes that would be really epic and then uh also of course a they're gonna do a castle pony they're also gonna do a castle like a castle what i really hope they do is make like four sets that all go together that make this grand huge castle now i doubt they're gonna do that but it still would be epic if they would do that I think it would sell pretty well, but I don't know if it would sell to the kids that have uh, underprivileged parents, so, you know, like, basically, LEGO has to market it several ways. They either uh, market it to the adult fan base, which is kind of this, but then they have the kids fan base, and they kind of have to leverage each wave or what they do with that, so I don't know if they could keep just doing adult, adult, adult stuff like I would want them to. So. It's all about sales, buddy. Yep. It's all about the money. So that's the problem. Like, you know, you if it might sells, you might have it. some adults that might, you know, buy one or two of these big sets, but then are they gonna buy fifteen? No. Would we buy fifteen? Yeah. <laughs> so that's the difference between me and your average consumer. <laughs> well, if it's medieval, we gotta get it. I know. Yeah. I know. Anyway. Anyway, but I hope they come out with some more stuff and I'll be keeping you guys up to date with what comes out. And what rumors are there? And if you haven't but, gotten it yet, this is the oh what's God. the official name of this? Medieval blacksmith shop. The medieval blacksmith shop. Whoa! I just found found some fire in the instruction mm -hmm. book. Uh, yeah, it's a great set for the instruction manual right here, and it's a Lego idea set, so it's not like Lego's doing this. They're doing this lot ideas, so everything can be up in the air. I just really hope it happens because I yeah. soft spot in my heart is for medieval stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And if anybody wants to do a fan project, sends in the stud IO project, I, I would be more than happy to get the parts and do a video on it. So yeah, if, if you, nice if you move. Can do that. That's a move. And if you get three of those, you will play some of your medieval tunes on a special video on your second channel. If I get three of those. Three. I have to have three. Okay. Or actually, you don't... Zero. Are you implying you were just going to do that anyway? <laughs> Probably going to do that anyway. All right, sweet. Anyway, um, Earth. also, sponsor, Cosby's Bricks Brickling Store. If you want to go over there and get you some, sell some Lego, if you use code word BRICKAFIT, you're going to save 10% off. So it's basically free money. I mean, it's free money. You yeah. save money for free. Yeah, we just uh, snagged a, a really cool set that's going to be coming in the mail shortly. Yes, and so we're probably going to pair that with something else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got yeah. several haul video coming out. We also have a brick mania haul that's gonna come out in the future. Just a little teaser there. So uh long live medieval stuff. Yes. Not only Lego stuff, but they they knew how to eat back then. And they had good music. And they got they died sooner. Well, <laughs> yeah. They lived they lived large. Alright, so we thank Cosby's bricks and we've thrown down a, a challenge. And we've waxed rhapsodic about the medieval blacksmith shop. I don't know what else is left other than to say subscribe, share, turn on all notifications, check out Prophecy's Bricks, mm -hmm. follow my Instagram, mm -hmm. don't follow me on Twitter because I don't have a Twitter. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I do have a Twitter, but I'm not that Twitter. Are you going to do Yammer? I don't even know what Yammer is. I don't either. All right. What is Yammer? I don't know. Oh. I have no idea. I thought you would. No, I didn't know I could. Being really hip on uh, social media. I have no idea. And Yammer is. If anybody knows what Yammer is in the comments, please comment what, what Yammer is. Mm -hmm. I'd actually be interested to know. Yeah. All right. Uh, this video is uh, fizzling out fast. Yeah. Thanks. And uh, I'm trying to think of a pithy way to end.